can see how it's just it's not solid colour, just just very quickly. Just change the change the colour slightly. And then as you go down to the base of these trees, make it a bit a bit darker. Add a bit of Payne's grey. Bit of, bit of light red just to just to break it up a bit, create a bit more interest, a bit of variation. And I can just about see some branches and twigs and, and what have you. Just suggest a few of these. Just get in with your get in with your fingernail and just bash them in. Don't worry about it, because whatever whatever we're not happy with. You can see how I've gone a bit over the top there, but whatever we're not happy with, I can paint over it. So I'm just going to continue those. I'm just going to take a bit of, take a number three rigger, plenty of water. And then just put a few, put a few more in with the, uh, a little bit more water on there. A few more twigs and whatnot in with the uh, with the with the rigger. Just flick them off. I'm just going to make sure there's no, no real excess water on the brush. Pretty dry brush. I'm just going to just go into the ultramarine like that, maybe a bit with the burnt on a bit of ultramarine. And then just... some dark areas in down the bottom. Maybe even suggest a few of those leaves at the top. Just the base then going really dark there. Really dark and I'll show you why exactly in a second. Because I put that in nice and dark. You see this big rock we've got up there. If I just take the plastic card and I can just suggest that rock there just by giving it a quick scrape. Maybe even a couple more around it. And the ones over there. Very simple method. I think what I'll do next is I'll put in clean water and I'm just going to put in, I'm just going to wet, wet all this area and then quickly before that dries just put in a few reflections it hasn't got to be exact A 
Just that old out of base. over on the other side before it's dried. That'll do. And then I'll just give that a quick dry. some dark colour which uh, burnt umber ultramarine anything dark on the brush I'm just gonna define these banks a little more just where the the muddy bits where the where the uh, the land meets the water just helps break it up slightly because that's further away. I don't want to define that too much. You could even if you overdo it, just pull it pull it across with your finger. But always do it um, parallel to the bottom of the paper. If you start doing like that, it, it, it just doesn't look right. I'll do the same over on this side. So back, clean brush, uh, green a mix again, so raw sienna, lemon yellow, bit of ultramarine. a bit muddy on my brush so I'm just going to clean the brush and start again. Raw sienna, lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine to darken it. And that's just that little bit of foreground. Just give it a few flicks up, just a few grasses and whatever you're growing. The pine's grey darkening a bit. Take the number three rigger. Plenty of water. few more reeds over on this side. Let me get the fingernail in. And the only other thing I want to do, very watery, 
light greeny mix. Just take the excess off. And we could have a few, just a few little birds flying. I think I'll call that one finished. Do a dark colour on the brush and then just pop the signature down in the corner. And that's just a simple way of creating a watercolour from a photograph. Just a very simple photograph. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.